Flies are gross, and they eat a lot of our gross waste, so why not put them to work? Hey, people, Trace here for DNews. Flies are nasty. Nasty useful. So useful, in fact, that they may be part of a revolution in the agricultural industry, starting with a factory in South Africa. The United Nations announced this week that they are awarding a $100,000 prize to agroprotein technologies of Cape Town, South Africa, to process natural waste into feed for animals. This ain't like soil and green people. <laughs> Soil and green people. The feed will be all natural product produced by nature, not by engineering. How? Easy. Just let the flies be flies. Agroprotein Technologies recycles leftover food, blood, and guts from slaughterhouses and manure from farming operations into a protein that can be fed to chickens, fish, and other small farm animals. They do this by taking advantage of flies' natural ability to reproduce a lot. A single female fly can lay 900 eggs in her lifetime. Each will hatch given the right conditions, in about 10 days. These flies are trained to lay their eggs in a specific part of the building. That way the factory workers can go in and remove them and place the eggs in the pestilence I mentioned earlier. Then given the perfect conditions, the larvae will hatch 72 hours later and begin consuming the nasty contents around them. Using various species of fly larvae, the different types of waste can be eaten efficiently and then recombined. Using this method, agroprotein can turn one kilo of eggs into about 380 kilos of larvae. That's a huge increase for something that nature does all on its own. Not to say these engineers didn't work hard to figure the process out. They actually took six years to get the best egg-laying flies and the larvae to work together to recycle this nasty waste. When the larvae reach a certain level of development, they remove them from the nasty stuff, they clean and dry them, and they put them in large bags to sell to food farms. The largest of their factories can produce 90 to 100 tons of protein a day. The protein being fly larvae. Yuck. Recycling waste for some farmers was much more of a chore. Manure is great for fields, but sometimes farmers produce more manure than a field can hold, and over-fertilizing can cause problems with groundwater contamination and even kill crops. Also, disposing animal carcasses is watched closely by the USDA here in the United States, so it's kind of tough. Agroprotein could revolutionize even small farms with individual-level fly recycling systems catered to the needs of each individual farmer. Nature doing what nature does, and everyone benefits, except for fly babies, because they're just tasty. Have you heard of a fancy technology that uses nature to solve a problem like this? Tell us about it and maybe we'll be able to report it here on D News. Tweet us, Facebook us, Google Plus us, or even leave a comment on this video. Thanks a lot for watching everybody, I'm Trace. See you later.